What I love about this apple tart is it's sweet, it's tart, and the crust is so buttery. Hey guys, it's Inka. So today I'll be teaching you guys how to make my favorite apple tart. As much as I love apple pie, I just wanted to find a way to sort of elevate it and this was just the perfect way to do it. This is a recipe I've made since I was in college. This was just something really special that I was able to share with friends and family. I still remember the first time they saw it and they were just like, wow, this is incredible. This looks so beautiful in a holiday setting. I feel like it is a season where it's to be celebrated and shared and it's happiness all over. And so this is kind of my way of contributing to that a little bit. Normally I only make this tart on special occasions, you know, when I'm going to a housewarming party or to a holiday party, basically when there's any event where there's a lot of people. I think what impresses people the most about it is that because when you arrange the apples in that way, it resembles a rose laying out the apples one by one, slice by slice. I know it seems super tedious, but it's also kind of therapeutic and it just comes into this beautiful flower shape and everything is worth it. We're gonna chill that dough for 30 minutes. I really like using Honeycrisp apples because that's my favorite, but you can use whatever apples you want. And then we're also gonna put in like cinnamon, sugar, lemon juice, all that good stuff. And then once it becomes soft enough, we're just going to mash it together with a fork. I said about 10 minutes, but honestly you can go for longer just to get the apple softer and become easier to mash. So once you're done mashing, just let that chill in the fridge. So then we're gonna roll out the dough. You do wanna be fast here because otherwise the dough is gonna get too warm and make it hard for the transfer to happen. This recipe kind of goes both ways. You can make it by yourself, but it's also really fun to do it with your friends, which I have done before. And it definitely speeds up the process a lot more. And it's fun, it's really fun. Once it's in the tar pan, just cut off the excess dough and then just push down the edges and fill up the empty spaces. And if you make any mistakes or you accidentally tear the dough apart, that's totally fine. Just like rub some dough back in there. Then now we're gonna add in our chilled apple filling. I love this filling. I can honestly just eat it as is. Pop that tart right back into the fridge while we prep our apples. I'm just gonna toss in some sugar and lemon juice and then pop it in the microwave for around two minutes just so we can make the apples a little softer. Now we're gonna do my favorite part, the rose. They kind of make the apples the star of the recipe. Then we're just gonna microwave some orange marmalade and spread that onto the apples to make it a little more sweet. And then we'll pop this in the oven. The last thing we have to do is just to add a little bit more microwaved orange marmalade, just to give it a little bit more shine. And now we're ready to serve. I cannot wait for everybody to try this. Sharing food with people I think just makes me really happy. It's always really great seeing the reaction people have to the food I make. I'm super excited, I can't wait to try this. I swear it tastes as good as it looks. I love serving it with vanilla ice cream. I think it's the perfect combination. I'm really excited for you guys to try this and share it with your friends and family. I promise they'll love it. Oh yes!